if you have an e and an f means you have to raise it now you raise it in you have to make sure that you are going to get an a so that it will make up for the f you had so welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in yeah <laughs> my name is beta and i feel about god love education lifestyle issues today i'm bringing a very interesting topic as always today i'm going to talk about what you should do when you have a receipt uh, regardless of the level so in my last video i talked about the differences between the types of receipts we have and in my last two videos i talked about uh what you should expect in level 100 200 300 regarding lectures and everything combined so please be sure to watch those videos if you find this video very interesting stick around once you know you have a receipt the first thing you have to do is to decide on the type of receipt to take again if you have not watched my last video please go and watch it because i mentioned the types and everything regarding that whichever you choose then you have to be mindful of when those portals will be open so it means that you have to really ask around or go to the academic office to ask when the portal of whether the normal one um if you are taking a normal one you ask um what time the portal will be open and closed and if you are doing for um supplementary you also ask and know when the portals are going to close so that you can you know register before the portals close now once the portals once the portals are closed i don't think you have access to um write your receipt it means that you decide not to write for that semester you have to proceed to write this the next semester now one thing i i am supposed to talk about in the other video i didn't talk about in level 100 our results delay now the reason being that those who are in level 300 uh, their results are supposed to be compiled for them so that they can you know, graduate so our results delay so as you go to level 200 it gets better level 300 it gets better if you are level 300 and then one of your courses in level 100 is not reflecting and you happen to be the only person then that is a cause for alarm you have to get it rectified i for instance uh, i think in level 200 one of my um, courses results did not appear i i had to follow up and then it got cleared for me i had a b the glory of God. The next point I would say you should do is to watch a video regarding receipts, which is obviously what you are watching now. I mentioned that in the normal receipts, um, you join class, the course you are receipting, you join the class for tutorials so you can get information. Even though you can study on your own, you need to know what the lecturer will say regarding those who are doing receipts. Because for me, when I joined for business administration, the lecturer said, if you decide to write the IA, it's not going to be part of your overall score which means that the ia for him is going to be the exams rather that is going to be conducted for everybody which i am writing as part of receipt as receipt will be marked over 100 so whether i partake in it or not it's not going to reflect in my exams so you join lectures or yes basically join so you can have information as to how the lecturer is going to go about those who are doing research now one of the things you should know is whether you're writing normal receipts or supplementary receipts get past questions i said this in one of my videos um cheating during exam i i spoke you know about getting past questions past questions is like your savior it's, it's going to because honestly the courses that you are studying there's a lot to do in that regard so if you don't get past questions for you know the races you are doing it's going to be very difficult for you so get past questions as many as possible and then have time to go through them so that you can you know take your receipt in my recent video i said that if you have a receipt and it happens to be a 100 receipt then it's good for you because those receipts are usually objectives and once you read you can easily grab concepts you know to you know navigate your way through during your exams but if it happens to be essay and all those things it's going to be intense you have to sit down with full attention and you know everything needed to pass your exam the last but not the last but not the least I'm going to talk about is be available for your exams. Whether you are doing normal receipt or supplementary receipt, please be available for your exam. Be there with your ID card. I did a video talking about things you should bring during exams. Please watch that video as well. Be available to take your exams. If you don't take it at that time, now all the exams rules that apply to the normal exams also applies to when you are writing a receipt. So if you appear there you know a certain hours late you know all those cheating or practices it is still an exam so you have to obey all the rules governing exams now in as much as i am talking about receipts 
please avoid receipts with all seriousness because of the following reason now i mentioned in the last video uh, that uh each course is three credit hours now so if i'm doing six which i'm doing at the moment it's going to be 18 credit hours you need to write receipts if you have um an e and an f if you have d you are not going to write receipts in university of ghana now if you have an e and an f it's not good for you so it means you have to receipt now you're receipting you have to make sure that in your next attempt you are going to get an a so that it will make up for the f you had you're not going to erase the f you had in your main when you're having your main course the f will be there and then they will attach another paper to it to show that you wrote a receipt and you got um um, an A or a B or in that regard, but the most important thing is for you to get an A so that it can um, Bring your GPA to um, The normal is supposed to be if you write your um, Receipt and you get a B or a C or a D It is not going to help you that much. It's not going to you know um, Although you have, you have gotten a D which is which in that sense you are not going to write um another receipt because it's not allowed if you get something less than you know an a it is not going to really do much for you it is pretty much going to be like you got the f but this time around the grade just changed all right please let me know how this video has helped you the first one as i did what you should expect in level 100 200 and 300 obviously 400 as well and then what are the differences between the receipts the normal and the supplementary and then this video as well so with this i come to the end of my video thank you guys for tuning in once again and I'll see you guys we are almost 1k by the way see you guys in my next one bye